In this video, I want to show how we can work with the IKFK switching controls that are available on various parts with the Rigit rigs. Different parts, of course, generate by default with different control systems. For instance, legs generate on IK by default. Arms here generate on full FK by default. The same with heads. Of course, we can switch the control systems that we want to use for a given part, and some parts have a switchable option. You can see on the head here, you have an FK only method, a world space method, or an FK world switchable method. Similarly, on parts that have standard IK control, like arms, legs, and digits, you have different options, either fully FK, fully IK, or IK FK switchable. So let's throw the arms here into IK FK switchable mode, and you see that we get the IK controllers appear here. At the moment, you can see that we are in FK mode, the arms are just manipulable as normal with standard FK control. And you see that our IK goal here is coming along for the ride. IK FK is fully auto matched. You will also see appear when you throw something into IK FK mode. These controls here appear, which are the switches. And you can see here that you have the individual switches there for the left arm IK FK and the right arm IK FK. The control is here on the Y. At zero, this represents FK mode, and at one, it represents IK mode. So you see there I've thrown the left arm switch, and note that my arm, the left arm here, is now under IK control like this. And that really is all there is to switching between IK and FK. You simply animate the position of the null between one and zero, and that switches you to the different control method. Now, of course, as I said, this is auto snapped. So, of course, if I come down here and I create a pose there in regular old FK, we can see that our IK goal has come along. But if I switch over to IK mode, you see that the arm jumps position. Reason being, because this is the last location where the goal was keyed. We'll see that if I put the arm up, I don't know, let's say up here, then we can see that as I switch between the IK and the FK, we go between the two keyed positions. Now you can animate this as a blend. So let me just come out here to frame five and I'll actually create a keyframe for the IK goal there. And we can see that we get this blend that runs between the last FK controlled position and the new IK controlled position. And this is fine. You can blend off between IK and FK over a few frames like this if you so desire. It can be problematic, though, if you need to tween your animation in between the switch as you're sort of half on IK control and half on FK control. And it makes it a bit of a mess to try and work with. Makes any kind of tweening action pretty difficult. The more ideal way to switch is to switch directly on a single frame. And for that, you usually want to maintain your pose. So if I come here and I want to switch back to FK, I don't want the arm to go to wherever it was last FK keyed. To do this, you simply want to keyframe all of the controllers of the part. So I can select any part of the arm here, choose the part selection mode on the animation toolbox, hit keyframe, and that has keyed both the IK controls and the FK controls for us. And so we see now when I switch back to FK, everything is auto snapped. Similarly, I can then come along somewhere else, produce an FK pose, which of course takes the IK goal along with it here. I can key the whole part. And then of course, when I come and blend back to IK, once again, we have the pose maintained and we can continue animating in IK. To snap this on pose, the easiest way to animate this controller here is rather than having to come in and put a specific keyframe like that so as it jumps on a single point, the easiest thing to do is simply to take these controllers and just use stepped keyframes on them. If you forget to do it whilst animating, you can just use stepped there, hit set curve, and this has set all of the keyframes for that controller there to the stepped method. So you can see that in all of these frames in between here, I'm fully on FK control. And so, of course, if I needed to tween this pose in some way, then I can do it correctly. And I'm able to switch between IK and FK quite reliably. Of course, if you're operating multiple switches, 
and you're going through doing your animation in linear or TCB or whatnot, you can of course just grab the switches master null here, select child as the selection mode, stepped, set curve, and that will of course set the curves of all of the IKFK switch controllers that you are using. Also, these controls, these IKFK switches are part of the rig overall. And so if we come out to somewhere, uh, there we are, we've got a pose and we're in FK mode on this controller here. If I choose the rig selection mode like this, copy the pose, come out some frame here and paste the pose, we see that of course it also pastes the pose for the IKFK control switch null. As such, this IKFK control switching is also recognized by the pose and motion copy paste save load system, which makes it much more efficient and easy to work with when you are using these tools in the course of your animation.